Hey y'all, what's good? BQ checking in for the Impact Lounge. I told you there would be more content coming back to the channel. Uh, it's gonna take a little while to kind of build things back up here, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna get it popping. Um, I've got five minutes to talk to you guys, and I want to talk about Chelsea Green and her return. Um, she did say on Twitter she's here to stay. You know, just because you guys we saw her on Ring of Honor, it doesn't necessarily mean. Uh, she's signed there. She's wanted to wrestle at Ring of Honor. She said that, and the, and the tournament is kind of an open invite. You know what I'm saying? Um, we don't know that necessarily. That when she says I'm here to stay, we, we don't know that she's not doesn't plan on freelancing and, and jumping around. Maybe we see her do something with the MLW Women's Division or, or try to get on AEW for a little bit. We don't we don't know that. But I'm confident now in her saying that that we're gonna have her around for a little while. I'm looking forward to the feud with. Um, Tennille Dashwood, which I think is very likely. Um, those of you who are at the set of tapings right now, you could probably confirm that. But I like the dynamic of the Tennille influencer gimmick and then like the hot mess. You know, there, there's kind of a, they're kind of polar opposites in a sense. So that should be uh, really good. She says she's coming for the Knockouts Championship. And of course that started the online chatter of like, well, you were the Knockouts Champion and you left before. You know, and that did happen. If you ever listened to a Chelsea Green slash Laurel Van Ness interview back when she was with TNA, 75% of those interviews were about Tough Enough and WWE. And, her, you know, that's back when NXT was having these women's matches of Sasha Banks and Charlotte and Becky Lynch and Bayley and you know she felt like maybe I could have been one of those four so she was doing good work with with TNA and her her character progressed so nicely um, to where it really was gonna get on a roll and then she left but if you listen to those interviews like that's where she flat-out wanted to be I mean there's, there's just no way around that she never disrespected anything about TNA and her time there but if you listen to her there was just a chapter of the of her story that just needed to be written she just needed that opportunity because she tasted things with tough enough and and it was clearly burning inside her like she wanted her shot over there now it didn't work out for her unfortunately um, but that doesn't mean that when she now that she's back and she's returned that we say oh well you left once before um, and, and I see the Twitter chatter. Most people are pretty excited to see her back. She's going to be a major asset for the <laughs> knockouts division, depending on how long she actually is around. You know, I, we can only speculate at this point. Maybe we'll get some information on that later. But she's going to be a major, major asset. Uh, the, the, the knockouts division has needed some, some really fresh talent. And bringing, uh, yeah, she is a former impact star but she's not coming back from like the heydays of tna you know like she's coming back from a few years ago um and there, there's a lot of people in that group that i would i would love to see return i would love to see come back i had a conversation with her one time at wrestlemania weekend years ago i didn't go to wrestlemania itself i just went to the to wrestlecon and i had a conversation with her she was still hanging out with the impact stars and and everything and back then even though she had requested her release up until she left she was still promoting and tweeting very hardcore for Impact. Like that's one thing that's good about her. There's some of these people that, you know, on the roster aren't even, you know, acting like they're part of the company. I don't think we see that so much now, but we've seen it in the past. Like she's always been pretty hardcore for the company. You know, maybe not to the likes of Sammy Callahan and, and things like that, but she's she's promoted what she's involved in. And I had a conversation with her, and I, I told her I appreciate as a fan that even though you asked to leave. You know, you really represented up until that final day. And, uh, you know, she said that she wanted to be as professional as possible and that she didn't want to burn any bridges with the company. Um, how many wrestlers do we see leave companies and just have something negative to say, have something bad to say, and the bridge is burned a lot of, a lot of times? Like, think about us when we leave our jobs, like, in favor of another one. We might be content with our jobs, but the minute we we start that new new journey, we start talking crap about the old one. Um, I'm excited to see what she can do and where it's going to go with her. Uh, I, I don't know if she's going to have much to do with uh, Matt Cardona on screen, but the the knockout division needed her. I think she's got the hot mess gimmick like 
perfect now to where she can still have the gimmick but then still be taken seriously and wrestle and everything. So I'm looking forward to it quite a bit. I want to know your thoughts in the comments about the return of Chelsea Green and just your thoughts of what she can bring to the knockouts division. I'm your boy, BQ. I got to get out of the car. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.